In times like these, when we're all searching for an escape, one of the best ways to do so is through books. But the fallout from COVID-19 has hit the publishing industry hard. According to Publishers Weekly, Barnes & Noble has temporarily closed over 500 stores across the country and furloughed a large number of employees, while major indie bookstores have laid off hundreds more, putting this sense of community that we get from places like libraries and bookstores in jeopardy. We've had to totally reinvent ourselves and change our whole business model overnight. We were closed to browsing, but we still were doing curbside pickup. And now the store is totally closed and we're just shipping things out. We're just trying to do um, our best to reassure everyone um, and to offer what we can, which is books. Emma Straub is the co-owner of Books Are Magic, a local bookstore in Brooklyn's Cobble Hill neighborhood. And while her store has always sold books online, it was never a big part of the business. Now it's the only option for her customers. And many bookstores are in the same situation. Which is why Bookshop, Andy Hunter's online platform, has been an added saving grace. So many bookstores are struggling to stay open. They don't want to lay off their employees. They're unable to open their doors to their customers. And so they're really relying on online sales. And bookshop.org makes it really easy for them. Hunter launched bookshop.org as a way to help local and indie bookstores compete with Amazon. Bookshop.org is still relatively new, launching at the end of January, but has seen its sales skyrocket during the COVID-19 fallout. Before, on an average day, Hunter says they'd hit around $2,000 in orders. Now those numbers have jumped significantly tallying nearly half a million in sales through the end of March. 75% of our sales are specifically pinned to a local bookstore. So most of our sales are like somebody wanting to make sure that their bookstore stays in business and survives this crisis. Why do you think this demand for books has, has gone up so much right now? Well, I think everyone needs something to do and people need things to keep their kids occupied too. So we're seeing a ton of orders for for puzzles, for games, for activity books. Straub has also noticed two big trends when it comes to her customers' current reading lists. A lot of people who are really leaning into the like pandemic, you know, reading Severance by Ling Ma or Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel, or people buying classics. You know, there are so many people buying War and Peace and Middlemarch, um, all these books that they are like, you know what? Now's the time. Straub is not only a bookseller, she's also an author with a new book set to come out in May. Hi, I'm But COVID-19 has disrupted the whole chain, including when books even hit the shelves. A lot of books are being pushed to later in the summer or in the fall. Like their, their publication is being pushed a few months down the road. It's a wild time to publish a book for sure. For those of us missing the comforts of in-person browsing, many libraries and local bookstores are still doing their best to foster community. I'm kind of baby. Books or Magic is still holding weekend story time for kids, but on Instagram. Author interviews are online and Straub is working on some special Zoom events to celebrate debut novelists who've seen their book tours cut short or canceled. It's like those people who I really feel for the most just because they've been building up to this moment their whole lives and I just want to support them as much as I can. Besides buying through bookshop.org, there are a few other handy ways to help keep your local bookstores in business. So many of us listen to audiobooks now. There's an audiobook company called Libro FM where a portion of every single sale goes to independent bookstores. If there isn't a book that you are dying to have right now, you can buy a gift certificate, which is sort of the best scenario for the bookstore because that's money in their bank. Every bookstore is on the front lines trying to advocate for books every single day. We can't afford to lose them. You are seeing people rallying behind their bookstores and behind authors and trying to, to support them. Each order that comes in, there's a little notes field where in every single one, people are writing these notes just saying like, thank you, we love you guys. And it means a lot. It really genuinely keeps keeps the whole thing together as we as we try to make it through